Chairperson and comrades, it's an honour to be here and it's a particular honour for me to address you in my capacity as spokesperson on education. And I support the recommendation made by my colleague in the Senate, uh, Brendan Ryan. You know, in these days, people say, well, look, you can't do much in education because it needs a lot of money. And we don't really have that money, and therefore there's not much we can do. But that's not true. There are things that we can do, and there are things that we must do. And I'm going to list five of them for you in the area of primary and secondary education. We have a cohort of young teachers coming out of training colleges at the end of this academic year, and the last thing we need to do is to put them on the dole. We have to get them into the classrooms. We have to get them into the classrooms. We have to create special programs for apprenticeship teachers, or whatever you want to call it. And Professor Tom Collins, Professor of Education in Maynooth, has set this out very clearly. We need them in the classrooms, and they need to be in the classrooms to learn their trade, having got their training in our education colleges. That's the first thing we can do, and it won't cost a lot of money. The second thing we have to do is this society has to take ownership of the infrastructure of primary education. 95% of the 3,200 primary schools in this country are not owned by the state. For historical reasons that we all understand, they're owned by churches, predominantly the Catholic Church. And the Catholic Church is doing a good job in education. But it can no longer be in the position of controlling and owning the property. And what we have to do is to negotiate with church authorities, Catholic and Protestant, for the orderly transfer of ownership of that infrastructure to the state with the guarantee that the schools will continue as schools and the patrons of those schools will retain the function as patron for so long as they so choose. But the scandal in the past of schools being sold must come to an end and that will only come to an end when we, the community, own those schools. The third thing we have to do is to end the scandal of prefabs. We spend 48 million euro a year renting prefabs. 10% of the population of 500,000 primary school students live their entire educational life in these buildings. And we will have an extra 100,000 primary school pupils within 10 to 15 years. The children that are being born this evening across the country are destined to start school in the main in primary schools that are prefabs. That's no way to run a nation. And we could actually put unemployed construction workers back at work and off the dole, building decent buildings for decent education. <laughs> the Labour Party believes in pluralism, believes in freedom of choice, believes in diversity in our society. And for that reason, we support the admission of Educate Together as a patron for secondary school education in this country now for the future. And let me, let, let, let me tell you about this, because Fianna Fáil are denying that right to Educate Together. 98% of all of the new primary schools that are being opened at the present time, the buildings are owned by the state, but the patron and the organization, 98% of them, are run by Educate Together. And yet when they sought to have the right to be a patron in the secondary school level, as all the other patrons are, that has been consistently denied to them. Now for people who want their children to be educated in a multi-denominational situation, or for people who don't profess a formal religion, they are as much entitled to the right to have their children educated in a school of the ethos of their choice as other citizens of this republic are entitled to. <laughs> and that won't cost Bat O'Keefe a single penny because new schools, secondary schools, are in the offing and will have to be constructed and it won't cost anything. And the last thing I want to do is to build on the work that Edon Council Councillor Aon O'Riordan and others have launched across the country, but it's starting in Dublin. We have a great education system, an under-resourced education system that is over-resourced by the enthusiasm of the teachers who populate it and work in it in both the primary and the secondary sector. But, you know, 
there's a limit to what they can do. And what you don't hear are the casualties of our secondary education system. You hear about the successes, but you don't hear about the 18%, 18% of young pupils, predominantly boys, but not all boys, who drop out of our education system at the age of 15, functionally illiterate. Now, they are heading straight to the dole. They are heading straight to the dole, and in some cases, worse. We need a right to read campaign. We need to build on the work that has been done, as Councillor Mary Freehill talked about it earlier on, to link the local authorities, the libraries, the planning departments, the local community centres, so there's homework clubs and breakfast clubs and support systems and encouragement for children to learn to read, because if you don't learn to read, you can't read to learn. They are five things, comrades, that we can do in these straightened times, that Bat O'Keefe could do in these straightened times, that could transform and improve the education system until such time as Lager gets back into government and completes the job. Thank you very much indeed.